Hey guys, it's Greg back with another video on data science and machine learning. And today I'm going to try and explain how I can code doing data science and machine learning stuff for hours and days and months on end, and I will never get burnt out. If you're watching this video, odds are at some point you've hit some sort of burnout in data science, whether it's maybe just today you've worked for an hour and you can't work that second hour, or maybe you've worked really hard throughout the week, except then this next week it's Sunday and you just are not looking forward to the next day where you know you really need to work on that project to bump up your resume and get that job that you want, but you're just having trouble getting your mind to do it. I had this issue too, but I found a way so that I can never experience that again. The awesome thing is this works no matter who you are. It works for any single person, actually outside of data science too, but especially in data science, these are some of the tricks that I'll tell you in this video, so stay till the end where it can really keep you going and constantly working towards that dream of yours. If it's before May 12th, I just want to say you can still get Python for Everybody University of Michigan specialization down below. If it's after May 12th, there's still going to be a bunch of certifications you should check that if you want to improve your data science skills, Corsair is the place to go. Check the description now. The first step, which I think is the only one you're going to know already, is the fact that you need a certain set of requirements to get a job. Yes, of course, you can bypass the system. Sometimes there's videos where they show, oh, I didn't go to university or I never got a certification. I just did projects and I have a job at Facebook. Okay, cool. It's very rare. Think about the steps and read about the steps you need to do in order to get that job that you want. The second step, which is essential and most people do not do it, it is what changed everything for me. It's the start. You have to watch the whole video. But this starts here where you have to forget about the actual goal and think about the steps. I know most people are going to say, yes, just chase that dream of yours. Go to sleep thinking about you want to work at Google. Wake up in the morning and think about, oh, if I do this, I could work at Facebook. Except that's going to kill you. That'll lead to burnout where you're constantly comparing yourself to where other people are and where you are not already. Yes, it might give you some drive every now and then and a slap in the face to wake up sometimes. But it will not be fun, you will not enjoy it, and you will burn out for even small periods of time sometimes. And again, definitely for a week, there will be some weeks where you are just mad at yourself for not getting there. You're going to get disappointed about the fact that you don't think you will ever get there. Remember the steps that you need to take, and we are now going to think about doing those steps to get there. Quite obviously, if a job requires knowing computer vision, you would have to do a lot of computer vision work. If you are looking for an NLP job, then you should do a lot in NLP. Okay, these are common sense, and yes, you could find a million guides online about this is the step one, step two, maybe five research papers in order what you should read. Yes, those are great, but you need to figure out one essential thing. How do you make it fun? How do you make it so that you actually want to do this and not just to chase some dream? The way for me, and I highly, highly recommend it, but there might be other ways to find it fun, is to produce actual content demonstrating that you know these things. Make a video, make a blog post, make an open source library, whatever the heck it is, make sure that it's public, make sure that you are marketing, it might even be free, but make sure you're getting people to know that it exists, and that way you will love doing it. You will find that people care about your work in a way that just makes you feel amazing inside, and it is fueling the fact that you are learning. So instead of having some dream to be chased, and you are struggling comparing yourself to the people that are already there, you can then do the same thing, do the things that are actually getting you there, but have a really fun time while people are caring and noticing your work. And that is going to get you the steps in the middle, which is very important. Once you have meaningful content out there that people like, people take notice. Not only do they like it, but they will message you. They will email you. Make sure you have all of your stuff public, some way that they can reach you so that a company, maybe Google, maybe someone in the middle that'll get a big step towards that, can talk to you and say, hey, we want you. That is way, way easier than applying a million times because they don't care about this huge pool of applicants. Yes, they'll grab some people from it, but it's so much easier when they're just watching content online, they're reading about your blog, and they see that, oh, okay, maybe you are an excellent candidate because you know all this stuff. You don't need to read a bunch of resumes and see bullet points like, oh, this person knows Spark. No, no, no. This person knows Spark. They just made a video. They just made a blog post showing how to do this specific thing in Spark. For the record, I'm not saying don't waste your time applying. Definitely apply all over the place if you're actually looking for a job. 
but make sure that you are publicly available so that when you do apply, they are going to take notice and put it right at the top of your thing. Say, I am very active on this address and they'll go there and they won't have to read the crap on your resume. They will just see, oh, they know these things. I can tell because I just saw them do it. Now, of course, it goes without saying that to actually show that you know something online, you need to actually know that thing. Now, the trick of maybe you're getting stuck on learning something is it's just because you're going too fast, okay? Maybe you are trying to follow a video that is moving too quickly. Discard it. Maybe you are trying to read a blog post you don't understand. Maybe try to figure it out for a while, but honestly, prune very quickly. Figure out something, if it's worth it or not, very quickly. Start to read something. If you like the author's style, then stick with it. If you like the video that's being watched, stick with it. But if you figure out that you don't like it, then just get rid of it and figure out something else because there's so much material online. Of course, take a look in the description down below. There's going to be a lot of stuff you will like, and there might also be some stuff you don't like. You can get a free trial and figure out if you don't like it, but if you really do like it, then you should stick with it and do everything. If you like today's video, give me a like, and if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Come on.